What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining. This is episode seven of Keep It, Sell It. Super excited to be doing this again. Back on a regular schedule on Monday nights now. I'm no longer, well, shouldn't have any problems not doing this on Monday nights anymore. So from now on, Monday nights. How's it going, Linda? Thanks for joining. Excited again. Today we are playing Terra Cresta. I've never played this game. It still has the Blockbuster stickers on it. Um, I did look up the value. It's going for like $35, I think. So it's fairly uncommon. But before we get started, and as always going to show five games that I'm for sure getting rid of and five games that I am for sure keeping. So the five games that I am 100% selling, going back to the Super Nintendo and NCAA Basketball. Again, I'm not a big fan of the old sports games and I'm not a big fan of basketball. I do like the Tennessee Vols basketball team this year, but other than that, like I'm not a huge basketball fan. Played some growing up, but basketball games, NBA Jam, other than NBA Jam, I don't really care about the old ones. So there's that. Another game that I am for sure selling NHL Stanley Cup. Again, don't really care about the old Super Nintendo sports games. So I will be getting rid of this one. Now this is not a sports game, but it is a very, very common Super Nintendo game that I really just don't care to play. Um, and that is Vegas Stakes. So... Gonna be gonna be selling this one. Don't really care to keep it. Um, did not have it when I was a kid, so there I have nothing. There's no nostalgic feelings towards it. It's going. And now, continuing on with the sports. ESPN Sunday Night NFL. Not keeping this one either. Selling this one. Don't like the sports games, guys. Or not the old sports games. If I'm going to play a sports game, it's going to be like one of the new Madden games. Those are kind of cool. Um, or I wish they'd bring back NCAA football. That'd be awesome. And then lastly, outside of Knockout, I really don't care about these kind of games either, but George Foreman, KO, Knockout. I will be selling this as well. This is not on my to keep list. So those are the five games that I am for sure selling. Don't need them in my collection. I'll never go back and play them. I, I don't feel bad about getting rid of them. Now for the five games that I am 100% for sure keeping. The first one Rampart. This is a. We've always, or I always played it with my younger brothers. It's a. It can be a two-player. You build yourself a little castle, or you've got a castle. You build yourself some walls around that castle, and then you set your cannons up, and then it says go. Both teams shoot cannons at each other, try to knock down the other person's walls, and then there's. The, at the end of a certain time period, you have to rebuild your walls. And if you don't get your wall built back in time, then the other person wins. So this was a lot of fun. We actually spent a lot of time playing this as kids. So definitely keeping Rampart. I also highly recommend it for anybody who likes couch co-ops. It's really fun. Now, another classic game 
that I'm keeping that I still occasionally go back and play just because it's fun. Kirby Adventure. If this is not part of your collection, which I can't imagine it not being part of someone's collection, you need to add it. It's a great game. My opinion, it's my favorite Kirby game. I don't really like a lot of the newer Kirby games. Um, I like this one just, I think, a lot because I played it a lot as a kid. So, definitely keeping that one. The next game that I am keeping, and this one, I've heard a lot of people say they don't like it, but I absolutely loved this game as a kid. Um, and I still have gone back and I played it not super long ago. Um... I used to play it with my cousin a lot, but the Flintstones Rescue of Dino and Hoppy. Now this game, my favorite part was probably the basketball games, um, which I just literally got through saying I don't like basketball games, but Flintstones basketball was fun. And uh, yeah, so this was a, this is a game that I spent a lot of hours. I've actually completed this game. Um, I beat it, which there's not that many original NES games that I've done that for, so this is one I'm definitely keeping. And then this one, people have started uh, playing this a lot more recently. I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot more gameplay on it, but I love this game. Haven't made it very far in it, only a couple of the levels, um, but Shatterhand. Um, it's a little dirty, sorry guys. But uh, Shatterhand is a fantastic um, platforming game. It's it's all it's a great game. A lot of fun. Um, you go and you bust open these boxes and collect these different letters. And if you collect three letters, I think they're letters. I think it's like a B or a D or something like that. Um, but if you collect these little letters, eventually you get these different robots that help you. Some will throw grenades. Some throw like a, I don't know. They throw different things to help kill bad guys and stuff. I don't know. It's a lot of fun. you got to try it. You should definitely try it. It's a great, great game. I love it. And then, lastly, and I've got a custom case for this one because it's a one of my more, I guess, pricier games, but I'm keeping DuckTales 2. This is a copy I had from when I was a kid. So it's my original copy, DuckTales 2. Love this game. I like this one better than the original DuckTales. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, got some custom artwork on the inside. It's kind of cool. But I like this copy better than the original DuckTales. Um, I did not have the original DuckTales growing up. I only had DuckTales 2, and that's the one that I still like better today. So, those were my five that I'm keeping, five that I'm selling. And now, let's play Terra Cresta. So again, never seen anything. I see a spaceship on the, uh, on the front cover. My guess is it's a shooter of some kind. But, well, let me switch over to here. Oops, you guys saw my YouTube. Well, this isn't good. Y'all can see on my YouTube, I have a good signal strength this time, which is pretty rare. Oh no, failed to dump it on. I should probably have, uh, I need to start, start testing these before I do these streams. But I'm afraid if I test them, I'll know what I'm getting into before I actually play it. It won't be a true blind play. Using my John Riggs, I don't know if y'all can see it this close, my John Riggs disc cleaner. I'm just using the dry side. 
I should probably get something to... I know you're not supposed to do that, but it, it, it's magic. Like I said, it's magic. It works. Alright, let's start this up. Let me turn the volume up a little bit so you guys can hear it. Let me know if you guys can hear the volume. Um, make sure my chat's working. Oh my goodness. My chat was not working. Hey Linda, what's up Jay? How's it going? Thanks for joining. I can see why you would sell it. There are too many sports games. How's Voxer, Linda? Really good. I can't believe I started it and now I'm not even on it anymore. Voxer. Stanley Cup, what the heck? You don't like Stanley Cup? What the heck? You don't know anything about me. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, I like watching real hockey. I don't... Are we getting... Hang on. Let me pause that. Actually, pause. Sometimes my volume doesn't work. Well, hang on. I literally tested all of this, guys, right before we started doing this. All right. Going back. Whoa, there we go. There's the volume. All right, going back to the chat really quickly, catch up. I'm off Facebook now, uh, Linda and Jay going back and forth, promotion of the channel, Lemon Beard Gaming, what's up Eric, not part of my collection, Lemon Beard, the Purple Eagle, thank you for joining, Robert, uh, Purple Eagle, the Purple Eagle, Robin, thanks for joining, He voided the defect guarantee. Uh huh, I know. Alright, hopefully my chat will stay up to date now. Let's play this. Yep, it is a vertical shooter. One of my all time favorite vertical shooters is Tiger Heli. Because um, that's what I grew up playing. Oh, what is this? Oh, look at those dinosaurs. Got dinosaurs on the bottom. Oh, cool. So this weekend, I was out promoting the uh, Southeast Game Exchange at a. Oh, ow, that hurt. I was out promoting the Southeast Game Exchange at a, ooh, I can't talk and do this apparently, at a, um, a first year convention called Sumter, good grief, that's so bad, um, at a uh, convention called Sumter Geek Expo, and it was their first year. They uh, only had about 350 people, but we were, or I was uh, running a tournament, or a tournament, a, a contest, a high score contest for Gradius. So I spent all Saturday watching a horizontal shooter I do much better at the horizontal shooters
Never heard of it, surprisingly. Never heard of what? Oh, Terra Cresta? No, I... I had never heard of it either. I just happened to see it on my shelf and thought, ah! That's one that I don't know anything about. Let's play it. I need one of those controllers that has, like, the turbo buttons. Man! Guys, this might be a really long hour. This is what I have to do. What is design? Formation design. Ship location. Let's see what this does. Can I design my own ship? That'd be kind of cool. Casual Gaming Poet, thanks for joining! Well, we're gonna have one crazy ship. I don't know if this is what I'm supposed to do or not. I don't know. We'll go back to playing. Concentrating this time, guys. Watch out from those dinosaurs, they breathe fire. Whoa! I don't know what I did there. That was kind of cool. So bad. Oh, my fingers hurt. How did we do this as kids? Mad skills. Yeah, no. This is this is bad skills. Is this an expensive game? Um, I think I I think I saw where it was about $35. It does kind of look like Dragon Spirit. Um I've only seen gameplay of Dragon Spirit. I think I own it. I don't uh I've obviously never played it because I don't I don't play very many of my video games. That's why I have this series. Dang it. I just lost that little power up ship. Sneaky! Come up from behind. Oh! 
Let's see. It, I didn't really. This game was pretty uncommon. Looks like a keep it. What's up, Steven? How's it going? You know the feeling. Uh, it was full of unplayed games. <laughs> yes, looks like a, a 36 on my NES app. Okay. Get rid of it, Austin. Let me know. Well, if, if, if I get rid of this, I will definitely let you know. Ooh, I, I think these guys changed colors. Did I make it to a new... Ooh, I made it to a new little section. Woo! Oh. How am I supposed to get those guys? Whoa, we got different dinosaurs now. Oh, and this appears to be a boss of some sort that I completely died on. Uh, according to price charting, they only sell a box copy every blue moon. Why is effective problem solving decision making important? This is a this is a one hundred percent a Mega Dan game. I would love to see Mega Dan play this. These guys up here. Dang it. Dang it. I think it just pushed me forward in the game. Which is perfectly fine by me because... Here's this guy again. Oh, I just... Oh, that's so hard! Okay. You would be the first try. Austin doesn't want to help me study. No, I do not want to help you study. You're supposed to avoid those. I know. What's everyone's favorite SNES game? I think I might pick this up. Looks fun. Yeah, I. It is fun. Um, it would probably be really fun playing uh, the two-player version. Obviously, I don't know if two-player is cyber. Uh, if that would be like a take turns, or if it would be on the same screen. That might would be kind of cool if it were on the same uh, screen, just two two ships flying around. Shooting other airplanes and dinosaurs. I love how it's got like this prehistoric. Dang it, those bullets. I love how it's got like the prehistoric landscape, but then there's like spaceships. So, dinosaurs and spaceships. You got the volcanoes and the craters and. And then the dinosaurs.
Come on, let me keep this for a little while. farthest I've made it still intact I think I just doomed myself to die now I jinxed myself For, let's see, favorite NES games. Evo for me. I've always wanted that game. Um, it's just been out of my price range. Uh, this is basically Dino Riders. I don't know if I've ever played that one. Uh, need a turbo controller. Yes, I 100% need a turbo controller. Um, yeah. So piggybacking on what Jay said, what's uh what's everybody's favorite Super Nintendo game? If I had to pick one, it would Ooh. I know that favorite Super Nintendo game. I know way up there would be Sunset Riders. But that's also like my favorite arcade game. Or one of my favorite arcade games. Fireball came out of nowhere. Hmm. Super Castlevania. I can sell you a, a, a turbo controller. Yeah, I might need one. I didn't think I was going to need one. Of course, I didn't know I was going to be... I mean, I knew I was going to be playing this game. I didn't know how much I would need one playing this game. Alright, we're going to go to a new strategy. We're going to hold the controller differently. Dino Riders was also an old toy line. Okay, I have very little control over the... Uh... Once you lose that, you're just kind of screwed. Uh, let's see. My friend has his, uh, his original copy of Evo Boxed from when he was a kid. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, let's see. Super Castlevania. I do like Super Castlevania. That is a good one. Uh, Eternal Champions. I've never played that, Eric. Let's see. And that and Chrono Trigger. I've also never played Chrono Trigger. I have Chrono Trigger. I actually think I have Eternal Champions as well. Never played those. Um, how could I forget about Chrono Trigger? That game is really good. 
Uh, I want an uh, Eliminator Boat Duel. I think I have that. I'm not sure. Dang it. So, on the topic of, I guess, favorite games, and this is a vertical shooter, what is everybody's favorite vertical shooting game? Let's see. Uh, Link to the Past. Did they make any other SNES games? <laughs> Honestly, I've only played Link to the Past for maybe 30 minutes as an adult. I did not have that game as a kid, and I've never played through it. I might have put an hour into it. I didn't. Pl I didn't start. My first Legend of Zelda game was. Ocarina of Time. So I did not play any Zelda games before that. And then I think I played a little bit of one of the Game Boy games, but I can't I can't remember which one it was. It was one of the older ones. Or maybe one of the Oracle ones or I, I don't remember. Was it? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Ikaruga. Uh, hmm. You got this. Thanks, Linda. I appreciate the uh, the confidence. Twin B. I never played Twin B. In fact, I don't think I even recognize the name. So I don't think I know what Twin B is. All right, come on. Let's, I need to put out a new video soon. I'm Slack. Link's Awakening is a fantastic game. Oh, I'm sure it is. I love all the Zelda games that I've played. Uh, Breath of the Wild was by far the best. Which I actually don't think I do. I will double check for you though. Robin, oh, do you have emulator boat duel? Is that a vertical shooter? Maybe Raiden. Does Afterburner count as a vertical shooter? I need to play a lot more games, guys, because I, I know the titles of these games, but I don't actually know what any of them, um, look like or play like. Oh, and I'm going to apologize if y'all can see my room in the back. I'm in the middle of packing a bunch of stuff up. And so there's a lot of... Uh, it's it's a mess. It's a mess. Dang it. I just got to that one. This is going to be difficult. There's too much going on. Whoa! This is a new level. Our new area. I didn't even beat. I didn't even beat that little boss guy. It keeps. It keeps pushing you forward in this game. 
Your room is not a mess. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. It's it's really a mess. I've got lots of boxes. Uh, I've seen way worse. You're packing mess. <laughs> Making fun of the, my, my, my list. I'm packing... I'm packing and it's a mess. I have $30 credit at the cavern and it's burning a hole in my pockets. Me for like five days while I sell. <laughs> Eric, that's funny. I got Power Blade the other day. Man, that game is sick. I've, dang it, I've that's a that's a game that I do I do want. I've kind of slowed down on my collecting, but I was uh, talking to Joe over on um, Video Games Monthly, and he just talking to him he kind of gave me the gave me the the itch, the bug. I want to start collecting again. I haven't told Julie that yet, so guys, don't don't tell her. There goes my shot. If you if you lose those other ones, dang it. Say orange juice. I say orange juice. Well, stuck with this one. I always collect for NES on some level. Game over already? The grief. All right, I'm gonna put it on player two. I don't have two play. Um, so it's just a uh, each person gets their own. Oh yeah, I forgot I've got that the uh, other that special power up thing I can do too. Oh, I did not remember those guys were there. Come up here, knock these guys out, and let's do this. Whoa! Alright, let's see where we're at. I just knocked off the five big games I wanted in the past month or so, thanks to the cavern. What were your five big games? Uh, I tried to say orange juice and said orange juke. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mini S Addicts pick selection needs to be rebuilt, Jay. Austin came in and messed it up. A little bit. I only took a couple of them. Um, I've never been to the cavern. What's it like? It, Eric, everyone in this chat knows about the cavern, knows that you work there. All right, I'm caught up. Whoa. 
Dang it! I needed the back shoot, the shot in the back. Oh, now I'm the second player. Well, I guess I don't have to restart near as many times. Oh, no! I don't have this one, uh, the second player controller plugged in. Alright, let's see. So, this is going to start me back here. I wonder if it'll let me jump forward after, if I get a little bit farther. Killing that one guy. I wonder if I should go try this strategy. Woo, guys! I just passed it. Well, then I died. So close! Oh yeah, forgot. That's player two. Let's see. Work. Let's see. I don't work at the cat. Hang on. I gotta go back up here. Hands down, the best video game store of all time. I agree with that. At least for the next six months. Um... I don't work at the cavern. I'm not even a little biased. Work. If you count sitting on my and watching magic videos, then yeah, I work. <laughs> I, I know what that's a reference to. Uh, it's a pretty cool place, I guess. I don't know. The manager laughed at me when I asked her to hold a game. It makes me wish I had endless money and space. Once I yelled at the manager for selling a game that had a Famicom adapter in it that didn't really have a Famicom adapter in it, I still feel bad about that overreaction. <laughs> because of you, Jay, I... Dang it. That was my second tiest one. Jay, because of you, I actually look for Famicom adapters in all of the black box games now. Well, the ones that are like, what is it, the five screws? Yeah, the five screws. Alright. Now you guys are probably tired of watching this already because it's the same thing over and over. But I promised I would give it a good hour or my stream an hour. I don't, know, I don't think I'm going to necessarily... Dang it! I don't know if I'm going to make it a full hour of gameplay. bad every time I walk in front of the door. Dang it, did I put it on two-player again? Sorry, guys. We're gonna have to watch this guy die. Like Robin, that had a Famicom adapter in it. But I was actually wrong. <laughs> Just trying to go for the kill. After tutorial, whatever video is the best, I recommend it to many, many people. We never get tired of watching you suffer. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it.
Yes, thanks to that video, people will no longer be finding Famicom adapters in that cavern. Including me. Guess so. I'm just so grumpy. Jay, it was your enthusiasm, not overreaction. I love your enthusiasm. Lemon Beard is only there for eye candy, according to Joe. <laughs> I was lucky to find two. One Gyromite and one Hogan's Alley. And true. I think I've got I've got a Gyromite, I've got a Hogan's Alley, I've got a um Duck Hunt. I think one other, but I can't Gyromite, Hogan's Alley, Duck Hunt. Maybe it's like a wrecking crew? Maybe the wrecking crew? Or balloon fight. I don't remember. But the only reason I have them is because I literally look at every game store, convention, everywhere I go now, I look for the Famicom adapters. And most time, most of the time, people don't know what they have, so I'll grab it. Of course, most of the time, it doesn't really affect the value of it that much. Just a little bit. Get these guys up here. And come up here and get these guys. Whoa! That's cool. I've got a full spaceship now. Give me a second. Let me rest the wrist. Uh, let's see. I'm going to shave my beard and rebrand as just lemon. That way Joe stops finding me attractive. <laughs> uh, I took out my kid Dracula and put it in my Hogan's Alley and now I can play it on my nest. That's a good idea. That's not a bad idea. I ought to look for getting some of uh, the cheaper Famicom games and just using one of the adapters i just wanted one for functional purposes in fact todd kept finding them i never did <laughs> the day i uh i brought that gyromite to the register robin knew what had happened <laughs> that's funny she was like really all right let's see what happens when i Okay, I don't, I didn't like that version at all. Dang it. I should have just kept my spaceship the way it was. It was too chaotic. Did not help me. Okay. One more go at it, guys. That's all I'm going to put in for tonight. One more, Terra Crista, Cresta, Cresta, I think that's it. Dodge the dinosaurs.
PMP, thanks for joining. Thanks for entering my contest. Oh, man. It was going so good. Never played this one. How would you say it compares to something like Tiger Heli? I like Tiger Heli better, but I also grew up with Tiger Heli. So I have a lot of, like, nostalgic memories towards Tiger Heli. Um, this one's not bad. It's It's got different little... Uh, power-ups that you can get with the different, um, I say power-ups, different additions to the ship. It is tough. It's, it's actually kind of fast. Well, relatively fast. I don't really know how this weapon helps all that much because everything else is just one shot kills anyways so it's not like this is doing more damage Let me see what number five is. I'm not prepared for this craziness. Hey, you know what? The final round. I made it the farthest. Wow. That's tough. Never played this one. How would you say it compares? Uh, seems like uh, it's got a heck of a lot more crap going on. It does. Tiger Heli is a lot slower. Simpler. Um, this one does have a lot more stuff going on. You know what? I'll play one more. This one does have more stuff. Yeah, just stuff flying around. It's got dinosaurs shooting fireballs at you, too. Which I find that to just be odd. And slightly out of place. I mean, I kind of like... I like that it's unique in that way, but... Here's the dinosaurs. The fire breathing dinosaurs. T Rex. They don't really. They're stationary. They can't go anywhere. Ha! Ah! I don't remember that one being there. By the way, it's Marcus, but yeah, I played the mess out of Tiger Heli as well, so, uh, solidifying my love of shoot 'em ups at a young age. Gonna have to check this one out just for kicks. Marcus, like Marcus Paget? Is that the Marcus, or is this another Marcus? It's okay, you will get it. Thank you for the encouragement, Linda. You're the only one in this stream that believes in me.
Oh! Cool! Well, now I know. I didn't know you had... Are you, uh, Marcus, do you do, you do YouTube? Like, do you have a channel? Teaching people how to play Tetris? Of course, Robin, I'm curious to know when the last time you picked up a video game controller that was actually plugged up to a system and you sat down and played. Not to clean. We believe you will fail quickly. This is what I get for reading Robert's comments. She plays Forsaken all the time. This is why I'm a bad streamer. I try to read the comments and then I just die all the time. I mean, that's not the only reason I'm a bad streamer, but it doesn't help. I'm not near as good as Lemon Beard. No Tetris channel for you. So Marcus, officially the Tetris this year is going to be Puyu Puyu Tetris on the Switch. This is going to be my last one. This is for sure my last one. Everybody, give me what you, what are your thoughts? Uh, seriously, she whipped me at Tekken. <laughs> All right, this is this is my last one. What do y'all think? Keep it, sell it. What are your thoughts? Give me some feedback. You skip into the middle of my streams and yeah I'm not bad just don't watch the first hour or so <laughs> I need to plug the Tekken 2 cabinet back up for real yes and put it out front so people can play it I think that would be great I don't know where you're gonna put it out front but I feel like it's a it's a sad piece of arcade history just sitting back there. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna really try to get it good this time. It seems to pain you a bit to play. I just... It's its like stupid little mistakes. It's kind of like, oh man. If I'd have just turned left instead of right. Or moved forward just a hair. Or not gotten... Mmm... 
or not that part. Let's see. Linda says, keep it, considering the price, and it is fairly uncommon. Sell it. I mean, it's a shoot 'em up, which are always fun to mess around with, and fire breathing dragons. I'd probably keep it. So we got two keep it. It seems to pain you a bit to play. <laughs> uh, we'll always say sell it. Oh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> dirty reseller or dirty reseller uh, sell it it looks cool but you could just play Tiger Heli it's true but I think I'm kind of uh, leaning Marcus's way I do love shoot 'em ups and ooh, let me do this close all right that's it that's it that's all i'm gonna do sell it everybody says so half say sell it half say keep it since it is a little more uncommon and i do still have a gaming collection and i actually did enjoy it i think it would be a lot more fun with two players sitting on the couch um kind of couch co-op type or not couch co-op, but just two-player. I think this is a keep it for me. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Keeping it. Switch over here. So yes, it's a keep it. I'm going to definitely keep that one really quickly. For those who missed it at the beginning, the five games that I am for sure selling versus the five games that I am for sure keeping, I'm for sure selling George Foreman, KO, ESPN, Sunday Night Football, or NFL, Vegas Stakes, NHL Stanley Cup, and NCAA Basketball. Those are for sure. In the sale box, sell box. I keep saying sale. In the sell box, and the ones that I am for sure keeping: Shatterhand, the Flintstones, Kirby's Adventure, Rampart, and Ducktales 2. So yeah, those are uh, those are the games I'm keeping. Those are the games I'm selling. Terra Krista is going in the keep pile. So we'll be keeping that one. Guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting on the in the chat. I'm going to be trying to put out one or two more videos this week. I've got one uh, I'm going to start doing on or start doing some videos on Fridays. Uh, it's not going to be a stream. I'm just going to be releasing them on Fridays and it's going to be a Southeast Game Exchange news type uh, video and just go over a lot of the different um, things that we've got going on this year some of the stuff that we've got coming in um, for the convention we've got some really really cool stuff happening so I want to start putting out a little bit of that information on a weekly basis to you guys who subscribe so want to do that on Wednesdays I don't know when or if I'll be able to start it this Wednesday but sometime midweek I'm going to um, try to just do another quick little stream and, and stream just kind of a, a series of games. Um, it's just going to be a, a, at, at a random time, but as far as keep it, sell it, keep planning on being here Monday nights, 9 o'clock Eastern time. Linda, that's like, I don't know what time of your time, like 6? No, 7? 6 or 7 your time? But Eastern people, 
9 o'clock. Definitely come back. We'll probably move over to doing either a Super Nintendo. We'll probably do a Super Nintendo game next week. Um, those can be fun. Maybe a, maybe an adventure one. Heck, maybe we'll do Chrono Trigger. I don't know yet. We'll find out. Uh, never played it. I think we're going to start... Probably still stick with some of the games that are a little more uncommon. Um, but there's a lot of really common games I've never tried either. Let's see. Check this. Uh, name of the game sounds cool, so it's got that going for it. Sports games will always eventually end up in a sale box. <laughs> I hope I still have a job on Thursday. <laughs> Uh, debatable depends on grumpy level Eric that's fair play color a dinosaur next no I've already got a video on color a dinosaur that uh, that's a great great game guys I that that is gonna wind up in my keep it by the way uh, let's see fun times Austin thanks Robin I appreciate it play Metroid Prime Trilogy and suffer with me I do not own Metroid Prime Trilogy in fact I do not own I no, I do own one GameCube game I own a GameCube I think I have a controller for it I don't think I have the power brick for it and I've only got one contr uh, one game so Never play. I, I just never played the GameCube all that much. That's why I'm really bad at Melee. But anyways, again, thanks guys. I'm going to head out now. See y'all next time.